and it's been nothing but quiet reflection for Fiorentina on the flight back from Turin. A 2-2 draw at the death against potential champions Juventus was a heartbreaker. Fiorentina, of course, as you remember, losing 8-2 in a historic result in Florence earlier in the season. Juventus were ruthless that day. They came into Turin this time with a plan. They executed it to perfection. When Christian Kuwame scored the go-ahead goal in the second half, it seemed they might hold on. It was a valiant defensive effort. However, Cristiano Ronaldo will not be denied. And in the 93rd minute at the death, he scored a header. And Fiorentina fell to the floor in agony. They'll have to shake this result off as we have big Europa League and league matches to come. We're heading into the final two months of the season. Let's get this episode underway. Hey guys, welcome back to the Fiorentina Master League. Of course, first things first, like the video if you like it. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Press conference time. Your questions have been getting better and better. Keep it up, guys. Up next, first time question coming in from SC44. Are you looking to get any backup goalkeepers? Are you happy with the form of your current keeper? To be honest, I'm very happy with our keeper rotation right now. Mattia Perrin and Dragowski have shared the duties this season. Dragowski has been incredible, but Perrin has actually been pretty good as well. And they've actually played almost the same amount of games, oddly enough, because Perrin has been our Europa League and Cup keeper. So things are really good. Dragowski's incredible. Not buying any backup goalkeepers. I will probably bring a youth team goalkeeper on to be our third string goalkeeper for next season. And a really good question here from Oregon Leshi, a real Fiorentina fan. He says, great work with the series as a fan of the team. I am so happy to see series that emphasize Fiorentina, but I kind of feel like the team has lost a bit of its identity with all those signings. What are your thoughts on this? So very interesting question. I do try to keep my master leagues realistic. Now I did go through and count. We have nine original Fiorentina players still on the team. Perhaps 10 if you count Dima Krastev, who's out on loan. So I don't think it's too bad. It probably should be closer to like 15, but I do think some of it was out of our control. Jose Callejon had a poor first season. I would have kept him had he not been that bad. Herman Pizzella was first start when Arsenal put in a bid for him. If not, he would have been starting this entire time and our defense would have been better from the beginning. And also Frank Ribéry retired. Frank Ribéry is another player that we were happy with, obviously, but he retired. So I do think we did lose some players more because of circumstance than anything. We also tried to bring back Alban Lafont, and he didn't want to come back. So I do want to make sure that, you know, we keep it realistic. And I think this offseason and in the next coming offseason, we will probably look into bringing in maybe some former Fiorentina players. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's episode 20 of the Fiorentina Master League. Big episode ahead. If you did not see the last episode, it was crazy. Go check it out. But today, we are continuing here. We're playing against Fenerbahce in the Europa League. Round of 32, second leg. We won the first leg, 3-2 at home. But giving up two away goals to Fenerbahce makes that bit tricky in the second leg in Turkey. Then we're going to take on Sampdoria, Roma. Then, if we qualify, we have the Europa League. We're on our 16th first leg. We're going to have to see who we draw if we get through. Then, Atalanta in the league. And then back again with Europa League action. So about six matches in this episode. I may get the Milan match in here as well. We'll see. Let's actually just check. I haven't really shown this stuff so far. Let's check what's going on with players this season in terms of the goal scoring ranking. So in Serie A, Dybala with 17 goals leads the way. Immobile with 14. Duban Zapata with 12. Tied with Muriel. Oh, wow. The Atalanta duo. Uh, Keen leads everything for us, leads all scorers with 10 for us, and Avia is there with 7. Disappointing season for Chimmy so far. Kokchu, oh, Orkun Kokchu! Look at that, he's on this list with 5 goals. That's really impressive, he hasn't, he's not played that much. He really came on more towards the middle of the season, so Orkun Kokchu, what an impact he's having. And then assists, Chalinagri with 8, and Lorenzo Pellegrini, I think, with 8 as well. Bentacur with 7, Milenkovic Savic, Nicolo Barella, Tameze. Chimia Villa in 16th place with 4, Kuame with 4, Kashtivili with 4, Odegaard with 3, and then Liorla and Ursulini as well. And then in the Europa League, all right, Keane with 4 goals, so he's high on both charts. Son Heung Min and Radamel Falcao leading the way, and it's Ishak as well. And in terms of assists, Martinez Quarta, wow, from center back, <laughs> Ursulini there as well. All right, let's go take on. 
Fenerbahce, Dusan Vlahovic, Chimi Avia Ursulini, Idrisu Soleil Kashtubili, Viragi Ajer, Milenkovic, Liorila Perrin in goal. Fenerbahce, they have two away goals, so not too much to do. If they can win 1 0, we are out. Sosa is the man to look out for, and Samata up top today. All right, here we are in Turkey, Fenerbahce Fiorentina. It's taken short. Whipped in, oh, that was dangerous. That was certainly dangerous. Perrin gets it out. Chimmy Avia dropping back, well taken. Chimmy into space. Aziz, doing well. It's played long. Samata versus Ajer. And Perrin has to come off his line. Oh, Matia Perrin. He did save a goal there, but that was risky. Into Vlaovic. Oh, two ball there, Torsolini. Ricardo Salini, he's dispossessed, he still has it. Ah, he's dispossessed again. Oh, it's still there. A beer, pinball, it's still there. Oh, what a save. And Dira clears. That's a phenomenal pass. Crossed in. Ajer. Oh, Mystic Paliola. And it's one left for the match. What a mistake by Paul Diorla, and this game changes immediately. Fenerbahce going through. Just like that thing changed here for Fiorentina. They looked so comfortable before, but now they need to make something happen. Oh, and this is something right here, Vlahovic! Vlahovic! It's in! Oh! Dusan Vlahovic! Fiorentina wastes no time, and it's 1-1. Now we have a match on our hands. Fiorentina wasting no time. Also, Lili just spotting the run. Vlaovic does really well here. Brings it down. Just squeezes it past the keeper. It seems to roll over the line forever. It's 1-1. One, one. What's there? And I'm actually beginning to push up here. Blekovic! Samata! Off the post! And he's missed the rebound! How did Tissera miss? Look at this. Samata turns, strikes, hits the post, and Tissera puts it wide. All right, Ijisu and Ursulini off. Odegaard and Alex Kral on. Mankovic as well. Odegaard. So there. Oh, that's a free kick. Odegaard needs to take it quickly. Blavich! Oh, what a goal! <laughs> this side, Blavic. Wow! It's 2 1 here, and Fiorentina are all but through to the next round. They still have to be smart, but they take a commanding lead here. Blavic, wow, what effort there. He goes, I don't know if he dummied it or if he just ran around, but it worked to perfection. Odegaard thought he was going to take the free kick regularly, so he decides to take it quickly. And look at Blavic, what a move! What a move, what a finish! Oh! Have a look at this. Odegaard decides to take it quickly. And look at Vlaovic. Look at the run. Loops around him brilliantly. And look at the finish. Wow. Raggy. Vega. Oh, great ball. Matteo Vega. And it's Dusan Vlaovic. And it's Dusan Vlaovic. Oh, it's saved. What they got into space. What a ball. Mateo Vega. Oh, he's putting it with a bar. And that will do it. Fiorentina through to the round of 16 in the Europa League. This and Vlaovic with a double here. All within five minutes, really. Actually, all the goals coming within seven minutes. But Fiorentina with 2 1 here after the 3 2 victory in the first leg. They move on. All right, so let's see who qualified. Lokomotiv Moscow beating Everton. That's a surprise. We're, good. We're happy with that. Michelin beating Sporting, we're happy with that. Marseille over Copenhagen, 5-2 overall, 2-2 in the second leg. Lyon over Basel, 3-0. Villarreal knock Roma out, 2-0. Leicester City, 3, Dynamo Zagreb, 0. Tottenham losing to Shakhtar Donetsk. Wow, okay. Galatasaray beating Ren. Arsenal are in, they beat Lille. Sevilla, 5-0 over Besiktas. Oh, wow, these results are looking good for us. Dynamo Kiev beat Leipzig over two legs. We associate that beat Genk, Club Bruges beat BSC Young Boys, Milan over Trabzonspor, 
and Bayer Leverkusen 2 0 over Feyenoord over two legs. So, who did we draw in the round of 16? Here's the round of 16 draw, and we're playing Lokomotiv Moscow. So, the side that surprised in the last round as they beat Everton, we'll be taking them on elsewhere. Arsenal, Gatasaray, Sevilla, Dynamo Kiev, Sociedad and Club Bruges, Milan and Bayer Leverkusen. That's going to be a good one. Fiorentina, Lokomotiv Moscow, Mitchell, Marseille. Villarreal Lyon, that's a good one as well. And Leicester Shakhtar, it's actually a pretty good match. I think we can win this, or at least get to the final. Even the semi, let's just say the semis. I'm looking at this draw and these teams, and no one's really standing out. Milan, Arsenal, you know, Leicester City are probably Real Sociedad. Well, Sevilla, of course, are still in it, but we'll see. I think we have a good shot. Sheldon McDonald here. Odegaard has surely answered his critics. Do you plan on signing him permanently? Well, yes, Martin Odegaard has been incredible the past few weeks. As you all know, he's on a loan with a potential to buy deal, but that depends on if Real Madrid let him go to us. Real Madrid may be looking to bring him back as some of the players have gotten older and now Odegaard would have a starting role in the team. We'll have to see what happens in the off-season. Sridhar Prem was also asking about Odegaard here. He says, need more time in Fiorentina. Yeah, he does. He's been, it's been good to see him get back to top form, but his future is out of our hands. Curtis B again here. Carlos Soler certainly hasn't kept the statisticians busy, but that may not tell the whole story. How do you rate his contribution so far? Great question, honestly, and I'm glad you noticed. Soler has actually been pretty good. I would say he's been really underrated this year. Castrovilli, Odegaard, Orkun Kokchu get all the praise, but Carlos Soler for his first season, he's been really solid. A lot of what he does is not something that we make the highlight packages for the games every time, but very happy with Carlos Soler. Really good player to have on the team. And Sajama Simon here. Lingard is a very good player. Do you plan on buying him or a player like him? Jesse Lingard is fine in England. Don't think he would come to Italy. And also, I don't think he really fits in on the team. I genuinely think we have better players than Jesse Lingard, though he's killing it at West Ham in real life. Good for him. But I don't think he's going to be coming to our team in this series. Not really something we need. All right, this is how we're lining up to take on Sampdoria. Changing things up a bit. A bit more narrow now. Kuame, Vega, and Keane up top. Odegaard, Kokchu, and Idrissi midfield. Giving Castrovilli a rest today. And Milenkovic, actually, he won't even have to dress. We'll bring Acevedo on, maybe. We'll see. Let's go take on Sampdoria. They're dangerous a lot of the time we play them. All right, Sampdoria, Fiorentina here at the Timir Franchi. Fiorentina coming off a big win in Europe. They're now into the round of 16 of the Europa League. A big achievement so far, but the league, that's where the focus is today. Oh, it's wide. Leona takes it at the right time, but then his pass out. That is such a poor clearance. That is this. Oh, what is saved by Dragowski. Look at that challenge from Pellegrini. That is real class. Ruffy says no foul. Oh, caught you there. What a challenge. What a guard. Keen. Ah, it's clear. Good header. Here's Vega. Inside Odegaard. Here's Kwame. Keen. Header. Oh, what a finish from Luis Keen. And it's 1 0. A brilliant header. And we have the lead. Good football here. Odegaard finds Kuwami. He takes his time, cuts back, pays it in. Look at this header. That's a brilliant header from Royce Keane. The header from Keane is inch perfect. Look at this beautiful sight here. Fits it on perfectly. No one saving that. In off the other side of the crossbar. Oh, they're breaking here. Good tackle by Leola. Not it back. Oh, Tchaikovsky, what a save. Half time. And it's Gabbiadini through. Oh, oh. And it's still, he's still up. Open goal. Oh. Martinez and Tchaikovsky. I don't know what happened there. But Fiorentina get away. Let's look at this again. Initially, Martinez just bumps Gabbiadini off the ball. 
but clatters into Dragassi, so he can't hold it. Gabbiadini gets it back, smartly plays it back, and it's with Rigoni and his strike. Oh, look at this. Dragowski was right there to punch, and Martinez was right there to head, defending. Oh, no. Oh, Dragowski again! And Azure this time. Ah, Pellegrini. What was that? A lot of pressure on the, San the Fiorentina defense. From the Sampdoria attack. Oh, that is the miss of the season. Martinez floats it forward. Vega as well. Keen, great ball. Kwame. Oh, it's a great goal. 2 0. Mars Keen and Kristen Kwame combining well there. Nice football here indeed. Vega, great header over to Keen. One touch, plays it over to Kwame. And a nice finish. 2 0. Let's move Vega into that attacking midfield position actually. And let's bring on up top, let's bring on Chimi Avia. And here we go with that. And it's been on Acevedo. Oh, Chimia Villa. Oh, and Moreno. Oh, it's 2 1. We fell asleep there. Marlos Moreno. There it is, 2-1 Fiorentina in the end. Keen and Kuwami. A late consolation for Sampdoria, but Fiorentina take the three points. Atalanta Milan chasing us, but there is a big drop off Roma in ninth place. I think we play the next as well. Alright, here we go. Fiorentina, Roma at the Stadio Olimpico. Roma looking dangerous already. And Jekko! Oh, wow. Good save. He's hit his back. Kind of sums up the start for Fiorentina right now. Daniolo deflected. And it's 1 0. Edin Jekko. What a poor start from Fiorentina. Jekko. Pellegrini! Come on. Let's calm down. Catch the beauty. Key. Mussolini. Quick ball. Pellegrini. Keen! Yes! It's 1 1. What a finish. Mercy Keen. He's so good in the air. Apparently, I didn't know this. Great goal. Good stuff here. Orsolini doing so well. What a ball he played two through the wing. Pellegrini with a great cross and Keen commanding header. We're tied up. They take it short, actually. And just deflected away. Strike deflected away again. And uh, false of Jagowski. We try to go long here. Torres. Zaniolo. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Corner kick. Header. Off the line by Pellegrini. And it's good. No, oh my, oh my god, he's missed. Roma, oh my god, 2-1. They've been so good. And that one's his Mancini. That's our former U team player, actually. He played for Fiorentina as a kid. Pellegrini there, good interception, and he does play it off. It's Arsolini trying to get it in. Oh! Well, we'll take it! 2-2! <laughs> Two -two. Chris Smalling with a horrible error. The thing is, I think no one touched it. We'll see what happened on the replay, but we're tied here.
Pellegrini there plays it over to Cellini and he's trying to play it through to Keane. He overhits it and Chris Smalling, it's like, I guess he ran into Paul Lopez and prevented him from getting the ball. That's it right here. Orsellini's pass through the middle, overhit. And wow, it's a really nice football here from Fiorentina. Ah, it's not a good pass there at the end. But Soleil does get it here. And Keen! Oh, he's put it wide. For Torres. Good stuff there. Catch the Vini. Smalling doing better there. Keen! A chip ball! Put for Lopez. Staying alert. Keen almost pulls off an audacious chip there. Right before the half. Just look at this. And this will be the last kick of the half. Pelepini! Again! Oh no! It's straight to Lopez! Half time 2 2. Pellegrini. Liorla. Oh, Keen. Ah. Soler. Keen. Oh, I'm trying to lay it off for Vega, but they weren't on the same page. And Roma now. Big chance to break. It's Buda Paris. Oh my god, he's missed! How did Buda Perez miss this? Fiorentina pushing up, looking to win this game. He goes around Torres, and then he puts it wide. Vega. And... Key! Oh! No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Jodowski should get there first. Oh, he did. Ah, that'll do it. 2-2. Two, two. Man, these, these draws, had they been victories, would have completely changed this. We could have already been in third place, but we're still battling here. Eight matches left, and I believe we play that two again. All right, back to the press conference. Curtis B here. Your defenders seem flawed in aerial duels. Do you feel this can be addressed by training, or do you need to upgrade the defense next year? I think it's a mix of both. I think we're going to need players stronger in the air. That said, I'm not complaining. But on full manual legend, I'm convinced. And forget even full manual, just on legend. I'm convinced that in the air, they cheat way more. On superstar, I can pretty much win most headers by positioning well. But on legend, even if you do it, you can get beaten. Which I do like in a sense because it's more realistic. On Superstar, I know when I'm crossing in from a corner kick, I can pretty much get to the ball a lot of the time. Whereas on Legend, it's a lot more rare, which is more realistic. So I don't mind, but I do think we can get an upgrade in defense this summer again. Though, I have to admit, apart from the beginning of the season, I have been impressed with how our defense has been resilient this year. Neo Dig Games here says, and he knows how I feel. How are you feeling after that Juventus game? Truly believe you did not deserve that draw. Ah, the heartbreak in Turin. The thing is, we played so well. We lost to Juve 8-2 earlier in the season, so we came in with a game plan. We headed to Turin. We played them well. We soaked in the pressure. We hit them on the counter. We were up 2-1 in like the 93rd minute. And Cristiano Ronaldo comes off the bench and scores a header. Literally the last kick of the game. I was sick. But you know what? It's all part of the growing pains. The fact that we were able to go there and take the game to them and do well. Makes me excited for next season. Juve running away with Serie A this year, but you know, maybe we can give them a challenge next year. All right, Europa League action now. We take on Lokomotiv Moscow. We're home first, so we need to make sure they do not score. All right, so Vlahovic, Vega, Odegaard, Kastovini, Kokchu, Soler, Milenkovic, Paul Torres, Luka Pellegrini, Poliorla, and Matija Perrin in goal. Here we are, round of 16 action here in the Europa League. Fiorentina favorites here against Lokomotiv Moscow on the Russian side. However, in the last round, Lokomotiv were able to overcome Everton of all sides. Fiorentina are wary of them and will make sure they do not take them lightly. Pellegrini. Vega. Incredible stuff already, Vlavich! Oh, what was that? Let's see Vega. Oh, he turns his man well. Vega! Pellegrini! Oh, tipped over the bar. 
Kaida! And it's down! Oh, the Bilal is blocked too! Kaita is so unlucky! Matevika! But there you go! That's why you missed the easier ones! Mateo with a phenomenal strike here! And Fiorentina take a 1 0 lead! What a moment for the kid! He seems to miss the easy ones and then he does this! Well placed, bottom corner, 1 0 Fiorentina! Here is Kokchu. And it's with Mateo Vega! Oh. Pe Perrin! Oh, wow, what a header. That is incredible defending. Kokchu gets it out. Oh, and Koluka makes a mistake! It's Vlaovic! Vlaovic! Vega! Vega, 2-0. Mateo in his second of the match. And he almost missed. He hit the post, let's be honest. <laughs> but we will take it, of course, 2-0. Oh, my God. Perrin made a meat of that. And we almost make a meat of it as well. Vega, no. Oh, my God. He has missed. Kamano puts it wide. Or can cut your fan favorite here now. Imagine how things change. Good defending. Good defending. Let's go. Let's get a third. Catch the beauty. Into space. It's Vega. Oh, Mateo. Take it out, but he's still on his feet. Blavich! There it is! 3-0! We take care of business here. That should be our progression to the quarterfinals. Surely we can't lose this in the second leg. Great stuff. What a match for Vega. Two goals in. This assist. He's fouled. He gets back on his feet immediately. Plays it inside. And Blavich finishes. There it is. 3-0 after the first leg. That is a phenomenal result. Excellent stuff to take care of business. Very professional performance. Vega having his best game of his career, really. Two goals and an assist here on a European stage for the teenager. A wonder kid. All right, Arsenal 3 0 over Galatasaray. Sevilla 0 0 with Kiev. Sociedad 1 0 over Club Bruges. Milan 3 1 over Leverkusen. Fiorentina, as you know, 3 0 over Lokomotiv. Michelin keep winning 1 0 over Marseille. Villarreal and Lyon 0 0. And Leicester and Shakhtar, nil, nil. All right, back into Serie A. We are here now taking on Atalanta before we head to Russia for the second leg. Great performance there in the first leg. Atalanta are tied with us in the league. There you see 55 points. They are right behind us battling, hopefully trying to get into the Champions League again. This is a really big game. We've won 15, drawn 10, and lost 5. They've lost way more than us with 9. But only four draws and 17 wins. We're pretty much the same almost in goals conceded and scored. Obviously, our defense has been a little bit worse. But I still attribute that to the 8-2 drubbing we took at the hands of Juventus. Let's go. Take on Atalanta. All right, here we go. Fiorentina, Atalanta, Serie A action. Just eight games to go or so here in Serie A. Both teams battling for a Champions League spot. Tied on points. This is a six-pointer if I ever saw one. This is a six-pointer. There is Miranchuk, who just played his brother for Lokomotiv Moscow. Paul Torres and Amrabat discussing defensive duties today. Kashtavili. Oh, referee. Call a foul. It's two to Zapata. Oh, Dragowski. Fuck you. Keen, good stuff, Odegaard. My nerdy got put today, Rossellini! 1-0! Brilliant, Odegaard, brilliant, Rossellini, brilliant, Fiorentina, brilliant. Look at this move, Kokchu, Keen, Odegaard, almost one-touch football here. That cross is splendid. No one's saving that. Oh, I was poor. Cornelius, lurking at the back post. The football from Atalanta. Oh no! Oh, what is it? <laughs> Zapata! 
Duban Zapata with the miss of the century, and he was so aggressive here, but he hits this into the adboard. Solini. Oh, Amrabat of all players. Keen. Oh, that's a finish. 2 0. This is such a nice move. Ursulini's pass. Brilliant. Look at that first touch from Amrabat. I think it surprised himself. He touches it off inside, and what a finish by Moise Keen. He cannot stop scoring. Look at Amrabat, Sofian Amrabat. What a player he is, man. He's so underrated. Ossolini. It's cleared, Zapata. Ooh, Torres. Oh, that came out of nothing, Cornelius. It's the post, Zapata, open goal. Biragi. Oh, it's a good point. Time we have the touch. Ah, oh my god. Atalanta have been so wasteful. Jimmy Amir. Touch the on. Yola. It's a good cross inside. Mussolini was there. We're going to Amrabat. Amrabat to be ready. Keen. Great save. What a kick. Stay alert. There it is. 2 0. Not as comfortable as it may have seemed, but we keep the clean sheet somehow. Russell Lini and Moise Keen on the score sheet. And we go three points clear of Atalanta. And we get closer and closer to a top three or top four finish. Moise Keen. Great game for him. He's been incredible recently. Lazio beat Milan. Oh, they're killing us, man. Ah, oh, we're still five points back of Lazio. Now we play. Locomotive away from home in Russia. I just do not expect that we would have any trouble here. We should be fine. Play Milan a few days later. So I actually want to play a lot of the younger players and backup players today. Three to lead heading into the second leg. Surely we can defend that. All right. So this is what we are going for. Vladovic Kuwami and Mateo Vega up top. Kokchu, Alex Kral, and Ramona Severo in midfield. Tavares Ajer, Martinez, Luca Pellegrini. Mattia Perrin in goal. The captain today will be Martinez or Vlahovic. Actually, Vlahovic. Why not? Let's go. And here we are. Second leg of the Europa League round. A 16 tie. Lokomotiv Moscow hosting Sevilla with a mountain to climb. Down 3-0 after the first leg in Italy. They hope to get a better result today. A much better result, really. Fiorentina just need to see this one through. Let's see what happens. Perrin goes up the pitch. Kwame does it on. Tavares. Gotta run inside here. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what was that, Caio Jorge? Oh, that's good work. Oh! I said Vito got it out. And, oh, Kyle misses it. Kwame. Acevedo, that's actually brilliant. Vlavic. Oh, yes. <laughs> there you go. Second half underway, and we seal the tides. Vlavic, but what a pass from Acevedo. Really good finish from Vlavic. And it's 4-0 in aggregate. Have a look at this. Kuame gets it to Acevedo. He plays it. Look at that. Perfectly between two defenders. Vlavic takes it down. And what a delicate chip. What a striker's finish. Oh, it's wide. What? A phenomenal pass. But Fedor Smolov can only direct it straight at the keeper. 
Oh, well read. Well read. Crowd does just enough. Barry now clears. Crowd does really well. Mateo Vega. Soleil. And Asani, oh, what a stop. Oh, good brick there. Oh, Elasani, great ball into Acevedo. And he has Vega with him. Ramon Acevedo, he's heading to goal. No one's going to get in his way. Acevedo, what a finish. Ramon Acevedo. Oh, and his kid. I'm telling you guys, this kid is something special. What a finish from the young Uruguayan. Ramon Acevedo here, silencing Russia. Look at this finish. He puts it on the left foot and picks up the top corner. And now Lokomotiv really stretched. It's in the space. It's deflected. Vega! Oh, wow. Imagine. Had that gone in. And there it is. It's 2 0. Fiorentina take care of business. It's 5 0 over both legs. And that man, yes, 17 year old Ramon Acevedo, your man of the match. What a game for him. All right. Arsenal are through. To the quarterfinals, Sevilla are through. 1-0 over Kiev. Sociedad are through. 1-0 over Club Bruges shows three strong teams already. Milan are through over Leverkusen, 3-1 in both legs. We are through as well, Fiorentina. Marseille come back against Michelin, so Michelin are out. Marseille are in. Lyon beat Villarreal. And Shakhtar Donetsk beat Leicester City, 3-0. So the last eight are Arsenal, Sevilla, Real Sociedad, Milan, Fiorentina, Olympic Marseille, Olympic Lyonnais, and Shakhtar Donetsk. And we have drawn Real Sociedad. Okay, so Arsenal Sevilla, that's a match. Lyon, Shakhtar Donetsk, Real Sociedad, Fiorentina, and Olympic Marseille, Milan. All right, we have some really interesting matches coming up. Real Sociedad should be a challenge. It should be a fun match.